It's sort of like you know you're hosting a party, and you want to make sure everyone is getting along and everyone is connecting. Sometimes there's so many people involved in the decision, but we also have to make sure that decisions get made and people get cast. And it's so much more than just the list of eight great people. Across the Universe was a musical movie,、uh, and Julie Taymor was co-writing and was directing. It's an entire score of Beatles music, which who doesn't love Beatles? And she did an amazing job making it a through line and making it a story with these five leads. So we were on a search and treated it like our Broadway stuff, like we did open calls in California, New York. We pursued people in London, and but they really had to sing because the entire score. You know, I think it was like 50 Beatles songs. They didn't have to be famous. You know, I mean, we could easily go through, you know, the known entities who were in their early 20s, and if they sang, great. But it's a lot cooler now to do a musical movie. I think, even though Across the Universe wasn't that long ago, it was at a time when it was still different than acting. So the normal young movie stars weren't necessarily interested, or they couldn't sing it. But because it was a movie, they needed to look great, and they needed to, you know, act on a film because it wasn't a musical like a Broadway show. It was very intimate and very personal. We got lucky with both of our lead guides because they came out of London. Jim Sturgis was a complete unknown. He had never even done anything. I mean, he had his band in a little rock club in London. Tiffany, the other casting director in my office, found Jim in an audition, and you know, sent that tape immediately to me. It was great. I mean, you just went, okay, this is the real deal. And I'll never forget the day he came in. He was a young rock and roller. I mean, it's amazing now when you think about like the 15, 20 movies that he's done. But he sang about five Beatles songs. That you know, I could hear it right now, just telling the story. That it was so emotional, and the whole. Cast was like that. I mean, none of them had done a movie before. Most of the time, when they walk in the room and they're doing it, you can feel like that's the match. It's watching an actor have that kind of connection. It doesn't mean that they're the best actor in the world or they're the only actor that can play the part, but they're doing something in that audition, somehow connecting to what that character is going through in the story. It sort of just comes alive, and you just go, "That is it."